The 2022 Tulane Green Wave football team treated the nation to one of the greatest seasons in the history of Tulane football. The Green Wave finished 12-2, and two, was ranked ninth in the nation in both polls, won its first American Athletics Conference title, and returned to a major bowl game for the first time in 83 years. The Wave shocked the nation with a thrilling come-from-behind victory over Southern Cal in the 87th Goodyear Cotton Bowl. The Wave's seven league victories were the most since 1934, which led to Tulane's first ever conference championship game victory. To reach the championship game, the Wave defeated 23rd ranked Cincinnati on the road. It was the first Tulane win over a ranked opponent since 1984 and the first time the Green Wave won a nationally ranked versus nationally ranked matchup since 1956. In the Cotton Bowl, Tulane would face one of the most historic programs, Southern Cal, led by yet another USC Heisman Trophy winner in Caleb Williams. The underdog Greenies trailed the Blue Blood Trojans by 15, 45 to 30, with just 4 minutes and 30 seconds to go in the game. Then Tajay Spears scored on a 4-yard TD run. The Wave added 2 points on a safety. Jones again, safety. in the end zone, it's a safety! Patrick Jenkins! And then Michael Pratt found Alex Bauman for a 6-yard touchdown with 9 seconds to go. Valentino Ambrosio's extra point gave Tulane its first lead of the game, 46-45, and the improbable victory. It was one of the unlikeliest comebacks ever. According to ESPN Stats and Information Research, over the past five years, FBS teams trailing by 15 or more points in the final five minutes had a record of just one win against 1,692 losses before Tulane beat Southern Cal. Now, make that two. Tulane's victory capped the biggest turnaround in the history of the FBS. No team before had ever gone from just two wins to 12 wins as Tulane did. Two takeaways from this season. One, it shows why an expanded college football playoffs will give good teams their shot. Like Tulane's seventh ranked 1998 team that went undefeated in the first year of the BCS but did not get a top 10 bowl matchup. John King to Despite Coach Fritz teasing about payback for Southern Cal's 1932 Rose Bowl win over Tulane, it's really about Willie Fritz and his staff creating a culture where key players chose to stay at Tulane and not let that previous two-win, hurricane-devastated 2021 season be their lasting mark on Tulane football. And that speaks volumes about this team. The All-State Sugar Bowls 2023 Jimmy Collins Award for recognition of an outstanding accomplishment is presented to the Tulane Green Wave football team.